all of them were shouting, calling for help. And I, I did not see any flame. We call it hellfire, but I did not see any fire there. But the kind of torment and the way they were shouting and crying was as if they are in fire. And what kind of punishment? Let me just point one or two because of time. The kind of punishment I saw there, a force, on, 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 on seen force, you will not see the person behind the force, but on seen force would be leading people to torment themselves. That's what I, I, I discovered there. Like, I, I didn't see another man tormenting another man, or another woman tormenting another woman, or a, a police tormenting, or a soldier, or a, a first man. They know. But everyone was tormenting himself. But that torment they are tormenting themselves is not like uh, the way you like. No. The, the strange force will possess the person singly to torment himself. And what they torment themselves was according to the sin that was holding them tight. According to what? According to the sin. The particular sin. Sin. Sin, yes. That was holding them tight while they were on earth. For example, um, when I saw some group of people, men and women, tearing themselves, tearing themselves, moreover, they specialize in their private parts. And the angel said to me, because they tear it, crying that they don't want to tear it from their breast to the vagina, crying they don't want this, but it's like they can't help it. And the more they tear it, the more those places come together looking fresh and they keep tearing. The angel said to me, do I know why they tear themselves and they come together? I said, no. He said, because this place is eternity. They cannot kill themselves and they cannot die. But the more they tear themselves, they will come back together to keep tearing themselves, to keep coming back together, to keep tearing themselves. And the reason why is because those people specialize in fornication and adultery. And now they are in hell, they are angry over that part of their body that led them to hell. Now they are tearing it off, but the Bible says it's only on earth that you can cut off your hand if your hand is leading you to hell. You cannot cut it off in hell. If you go to hell with it, you will suffer it forever. But while you are on earth, if it's your hand, cut it off, you can go to the kingdom with one hand. So the angel told me, do I know why they are tearing at this? I said no, he said because... They are trying to pluck out the part of their body that led them to hell. But because they are already in hell, they will okay. pluck it out and it will come back. And let me just quickly say that there is a distinction in the Bible between hell and the lake of fire. Yeah. Eventually, hell will wind up in the lake of fire, but that's after the day of judgment. So that's why you saw maybe no flames. Hell is a place of separation and torment. Yeah. Hell is, is a place that the devil claims to be his kingdom. Right. That is where he lives. That is where he sends his demons from. And when he wins souls, he brings them to hell. And the Bible says that death at the end of the age, the end of time, yeah. that death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire. Lake of fire, yeah. Right. I didn't see the lake yeah. because it's not meant for me. Right. Right. So, so now why I saw these people crying in different punishment. Uh, uh, some people was eating their flesh, vomiting it, and when they vomit, they will start eating. And some people, a force, twist their hand and break them into pieces, and they will be recoupled to face the same thing. A lot of Terrible. different punishment. Yeah. And the worst part of it is some punishment there, I cannot describe them because they are not here physically. There's no type of thing like that. No one can face such thing physically. But people are facing it there. That's why I cannot describe them physically. And they are so terrible that while I was watching, Fear came upon me. And how come about those fear? I, I was afraid because the people I saw in the paradise where I believe that I, I should belong, the, 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 the color of their skin and the color of the skin of the angels were one. The garment of the angels and the garment of the saints are one. But these people in hell, they have the physical color. A black man is a black man there. And an European is an European there. An American is an American there. Wow. So when, when I begin, when I consider in my heart that this, my color is the color of these people in torment, fear came on me, and immediately that fear came on me. The angel said, Daniel, you can see hell have enlarged itself. He quote Isaiah chapter 5, verse 14. He said, hell have enlarged itself and opened its mouth wide to swallow as many that will rejoice on it. 
And he said to me, Daniel, and they send their agents into the world to kill. He said to me that all the people that specialize in killing, he mentioned some names of people. Can I mention them, please? Okay. He said to me, all the people that specialize in killing, at that moment, there's a, a, something happening in Nigeria that we call, we call them Bakasi boys. And those Bakasi boys, they specialize in killing people, both innocent and people that are not innocent. So and, and it was when I came back that that thing stopped in Nigeria. Because he said to me that those Bakasi boys, that they are agents of hell, that Osama bin Laden is an agent of hell, and all the war terrorists that they are agents sent from hell to kill people, to send people to hell, because hell have a large and hell need combats. Mm -hmm. And when they kill people without allowing them to have opportunity to repent, they send them to hell. And when he said that to me, he said to me, Daniel, as you can see, if your record is to be closed down here, this place will be your portion. I have never spoken to the angel why we walk through all these places. I have never. But the only place I spoke to the angel was at this point. When I came back to life in Nigeria, I said this in the television, the Bakasi boys, they wrote a letter to me that if I mention their name again, that they will kill me. That I died and come back to life is not Bakasi death. Because the way they kill is not, uh, it's not, it's not easy. They bring people at the main road and people will gather, they will butcher, cut the head, cut the person pieces and burn the person into ashes. So, and they have killed many false prophets in Nigeria, many people that worship and kill people in the church, in the name of church. They have done such job. So, but, but they are also killing innocent people. And people are happy because they kill robbers, but also people are not happy because they kill innocent people. So, but now, the angel told him that they are agents of darkness. And, and the governor of my state then was a born again, and he employed them. So then I went to him and said that to him. He said that he would not stop. Then I went to the television and said it in the television. They wrote me. I repeated it. And, and I went back to television. I said to the, I showed people the letter. I said to them, they wrote me that they will kill me if I don't stop calling their name that they are agents of hell. But if God bring me back to life, if you people cut my head, my head will come back. But if God did not bring me back, you can go ahead and do anything. And I said this thing to this week, next week, federal government arrested all of them. They are all in jail, those boys now. And because people hated them, because formerly people liked them. But when they had this, everybody hated them because how can God give a sin a long rope yeah. and you, ordinary human being, would change the rope and give them short rope. You kill them immediately without opportunity. You are agent of hell. So now, the angel said to me, Daniel, if your record is to be closed down here, this place will be your portion. Then I said, I cried because I never, before ever I thought of anything, the angel would respond. He will hear my thoughts. But on this case now, I cried. That was the first time I spoke there. I said, no, no, I'm a child of God. I'm a pastor. And while I was, I was making this claim with all my heart because in, in, my, in, in, in my memories, I was remembering that hell, I knew about it, and heaven, I knew about it, because I was running the race not to go to hell. So when he judged me, I was crazy. I shouted, and as I was crying, the angel from his face and turned his back on me. Then, and this angel had been so friendly to me, holding me at hand while we walk, responding to my questions, but to my great surprise, when he changed his mood, I shouted and shouted, and when I finished shouting, he turned around and said, Daniel, stop making those claims. This is why judgment will start from the house of God. Those who believe it not, they are condemned. There's no other judgment facing them. But those who believe in Jesus, a new life is given to them, and they are bound to give account of that new life. I said, Daniel, that is why when you have the new life, you have goodness and mercy to take record. And when you have the new life, you have the Holy Spirit to help you. He said, Daniel, the way the Holy Spirit helps is when the Holy Spirit opens the book of record that the goodness and mercy are keeping. Because he is the only one that has the power to look into that book of your record. No one else can look into that book that goodness and mercy are recorded. And now Holy Ghost as your helper, when he go into the book and look and discover there is error in your record, and discover there are problems in your record, and discover that what you have in your record will not let you through, 
as your good helper, he will come to your heart and say to you, you have committed sin. Stop running the race. There are many things to amend. Stop, amend, repent, repent. If you say no to Holy Spirit, that is what the Bible calls sin against the Holy Spirit. Wow. You cannot be forgiven again because you have sinned against the Holy Spirit. If you sin against God, you'll be forgiven because when the Holy Spirit ministers to you who have sinned against God, you will repent and you will be forgiven. Well, let's, let, can you get us out of, out of hell yeah, yeah, yeah. and get back yeah, to life? Yeah. So now, now at this junction, the, the, the angel said to me, Daniel, I judge you. No, he didn't say I. He said, we judge you. Because he's single, but he never called himself I. He always said we, but he's single. Now he said, Daniel, we judge you. Stop making those claims. That is why judgment will start from the house of God. And he said to me, Daniel, on Thursday night, your wife slapped you. Can you imagine? The angel didn't remember that I went for crusade. Or even if he remembered, he didn't ask for it. He just simply said, on Thursday night, your wife slapped you. And when your wife slapped you, 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 you was angry and you refused to forgive her. And on Thursday night, your wife was asking you for forgiveness, you refused. On Friday morning, your wife was asking you for forgiveness, and you refused. And when you left your house on Friday and had an accident, on your way to death, you asked God to forgive you. He said, Daniel, be you not deceived, God is not mocked. This is exactly how he put it. For whatever a man soweth, that is what he will reap. You sow unforgiveness to your wife, and you will reap unforgiveness. He said, Daniel, did you not hear that the Bible says he quote the Bible, Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. He said, did you not hear from the beginning that thou shalt not kill? But I say to you, whosoever that shall say raka to his brother shall be in danger of Judgment. And whosoever that shall be, say, you fool to his brother, shall be in danger of hell. And Daniel, didn't you remember in verse 23 that he, Jesus said, if you bring your gift to the altar and remember you have something against someone, do not offer it. Drop it there. Go and reconcile first before you come. Because God must accept you first before accepting your gift. And if you have not forgiven someone, you are not accepted by God. That is why offering your gift is in vain because God cannot take your gift when he has not taken it. So unforgiveness. You. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. And he said to me, Daniel, because you refuse to forgive your wife, you are not forgiven. Your last prayer, this is what the angel said. He said, your last prayer would have sued you through, but because you prayed that prayer in unforgiveness. Because a lot of people get confused. They say, but I prayed cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Yes, I prayed it as a Christian, but I was in unforgiveness because I have not forgiven my wife, though I had accident, so I didn't remember anything about my wife and, and forgiveness and unforgiveness, so I suddenly entered into unconscious from unconsciousness and I died, so I had no opportunity to forgive my wife. I only had opportunity to pray, but my prayer didn't work because my heart was... So what are we to, what are we to take from this dramatic... Yeah so, you had. yeah, so what I'm saying to every Christian is this. The angel said the mansions are completed, but the saints are not ready. I am urging every child of God to be wise. The Bible talks about foolish virgin and wise virgin. I want every child of God to be a wise virgin. And how can you be a wise virgin? You will be wise virgin because a new life was given to you because of forgiveness and you are expected to live that new life in forgiveness because you gain that life by forgiveness and you live it in forgiveness and you give forgiveness in it everything around you is forgiveness 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 that's why jesus says 70 times 70. if your brother offend you there's no no number let him keep offending you keep forgiving him do you know why i believe and i suspect that the devil seriously need you to help he needs every child of God to hell, and he knows you cannot for commit fornication, you cannot commit murder, you cannot commit those big, big sins as a Christian. And now he decided to use the highest brain on you by causing your brother, your pastor, your friend around you to offend you, and he has succeeded in designing the offense to be so big to you, and you refuse to forgive. And there he is holding you ransom 